Welcome back, my loves. You caught me with my damp hair because we're testing out a new product for me. You guys requested, so I would review and test out the Spoolies hair curlers where you don't need any heat. I'm really excited. I had really great reviews on Amazon. I got two different sizes. I got the blue, which is the bigger size, and I got the pink for the smaller size, for smaller curls. And yeah, let's test them out, see what I think, see how I like them. I will test them out throughout the day, let them air dry in my hair, and then I'll come back and show you guys what happened. On the right side, I will do only pink, and on the left side, I will do only blue. Just because I just wanna see what each size does for my hair, you know? I'm going to add my leave-in conditioner into my hair just because I want the curls to be nice and soft, shiny, bouncy, smooth, not too much frizz happening, so that's what I'm gonna do first. And then I'm just gonna brush up my hair and separate my hair right down the middle, front to back. All right, let's start with the pink ones. And I don't remember how much I paid, I think it was, $35, which is not the cheapest. Oh, I'm struggling. All right, here we go. Just kidding, these are the blue ones. Let's, let's try this again. Well, the pink ones are packaged nicer. You get a baggie, but this one you get a box, and you get instructions. So that's cool, you get 24 soft silicone hair cur curlers. And this is the classic size, the pink ones, and it creates curls from three fourths inch to an inch, which I really like the curl, that kind of size. That's what it looks like. That's really nice, like that's really organized. That's really cool. So right here I see on the back of the box, it says, for natural ringlets and soft waves, do not dampen hair. So, I guess we're going for the tight curls today, since my hair is damp. Have you guys tried these on your dry hair? I wonder what they look like. All right, so it says for the tight curls, you can just place the smaller end of the little, what are they, the spoolies. Place like a, like this basically, and just start wrapping the hair around this little portion right here. So I'm gonna take the hair away from my face. And then you just fold it over, nope. Okay, I guess, I guess so. All right, let's try this again. So I think that was a little too much hair, so I'm gonna grab a smaller section this time. All right, and then it just says, just press down. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm just gonna continue doing this and see what happens. All right, I'm still on my third one, and I'm not really the biggest fan. This is way too much time, and I feel like I'm really uncoordinated. Oh, stay on there. Am I just being a weirdo? I don't know, I'm not really enjoying the process so far. We found a way to do this. Andre is helping me. He's holding the spoolie and I wrap the hair. So here's the verdict. Definitely use the second person or ask somebody to help you do this because it's much easier and faster with the second person because they can see what they're doing and it's easier to hold. But the only negative thing so far is there's only 24 and it definitely is not enough for the entire head. I used 18 just on half of my head and we tried to use bigger sections and the spoolie would just pop up. So I'm not sure if we're doing this wrong, but I think we're doing it right. I followed the instructions. Let me know if you guys had the same issue. I would definitely need a second pack of this. All right, so let's go on to the bigger ones. But so far, there's no pulling on my hair, which is comfortable, but I can tell you this much right now, I would not sleep in this because that would be very uncomfortable. I don't know. I would not like that. All right, let's do the big ones. All right, I'm gonna take bigger sections for these blue ones. Let's see how that works. like that, take bigger sections at a time. So 
So the same thing with the blue bigger spoolies. I definitely don't have enough. I used up already 11 just on the half portion and I took pretty big size pieces, sections, and I would have to get a second pair of these. Not a pair, just a second set. <laughs> I think I'm not the only one that has that issue because I also had to do the same thing with the other curlers. I really like the other method better where you just pull the hair through that little ribbon type of curl. I will have it linked up below for you guys if you wanna see that one. But I'm really excited to see what the hair looks like with these curls. I'm really excited. It might be a big fail, but I think it'll be really pretty. We're back with six hours later and all right, I have a couple of remarks. <laughs> so I am looking like a hot mess. Spoolies are starting to fall down really fast and it's starting to get really uncomfortable on my head. So around the five hour mark, I decided to kind of chest them out, see how they're doing, see how they feel. And they still felt very damp. Usually my hair dries within 30 to 45 minute mark just air dries. This I feel just because it kind of suctions in the hair. It doesn't let the hair breathe and dry as fast as it should. So I put heat on it. The last 30 minutes right before we started filming, I put heat on it, hair dry it for like 10 to 20 minutes and we'll see what happens. I'm excited to take them out. <laughs> so it should be very easy to take out and then just kind of unroll it. So that's happening. <laughs> All right. Yep, still damp. Yeah. You know what the hair texture feels like? You know like that doll texture hair? That's what that feels like. <laughs> okay then. All right, so I'm not gonna touch the curls. I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, that's happening. <laughs> All right, so one. I look like a complete hot mess. Even though I try to make all the curls go in the same direction, some of them are completely done, some of them are not. It's just, I don't know what's happening here. Two, it takes way too long to air dry, even though other curlers took like an hour max and it was done. And three, it's very uncomfortable. If you were to sleep in this or even just to walk around, you have to be very cautious and careful. You kind of just, you can't really lean your head back because it's just always there. Um, no. Mm -mm. Let's take out the blue ones. <laughs> Hopefully I get better results. So a couple remarks about the blue ones, as you can see, they are just starting to come off. I had to redo this one three times already just to make sure it wasn't coming off all the time. And I think they're also still damp. So let's just start taking them off. All right, similar remarks. Hot mess, you guys, hot mess. Does not look good. Honestly, I'm just really disappointed because they were not that cheap. Takes way too long and the overall result is just ridiculous. I mean, come on, this is bad. You know what, let me just get my hands in there and see if I can maybe like shake it out. Oh, that makes it worse. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Does this remind anyone of Grease? I don't know why I'm getting the Grease vibes. But if you're into this kind of look, yeah. Gives you volume. All right, you guys, let me know which one you like better. Pink or blue? It's a tough choice, you guys. It's a tough one. But for now, let me know what other videos you wanna see in the future, what other products I should test out, hair, makeup, skincare, body products, whatever it is. I'm your girl. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I look awesome. I know.